Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. I welcome you, viewers, into Daily Fountain devotional of Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Our topic for today is With Jesus We Can Excel. Our text John chapter 21, verse 1 to 14. John 21, verse 1 to 14. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you are God. You are excellent. You are wonderful. A God that cares for us day and night. Thank you for this hour you have given unto us to study your word. As we go through, we beseech your Holy Spirit to speak to us. Lead us and direct us. Inspire us with your own knowledge. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. John chapter 21, verse 1. After this, Jesus appeared once more to his disciples at Lake Tiberius. This is how it happened. Simon Peter, Thomas, called the twins, Nathanael, the one from Canaan in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples of Jesus were all together. Simon Peter said to the others, I am going fishing. We will go with you, they told him. So they went out in a boat, but all that, that night they did not catch any tin. As the sun was Rising, Jesus stood at the water edge, but the disciple did not know that it was Jesus. Then he asked them, Young men, haven't you caught anything? Not a thing, they answered. He said to them, Throw your net out on the right side of the boat, and you will catch some. So they threw the net out and caught not pull it back in, because they had caught so many fish. The disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Peter heard that it was the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken his clothes off and jumped into the water. The other disciple came to shore in the boat, pulling the net full of fish. They were not very far from the land, about a hundred yards away. When they stepped ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish on it and some bread. Then Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net ashore for full of big sheep, a hundred and fifty-three in all. Even though there were so many, still the net did not tear. Jesus said to them, Come and eat. None of the disciples dare ask him, Who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. So Jesus went over, took the bread, and gave it to them. He did the same with the fish. This then was the third time Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from dead. This is the word of the Lord. Our topic says, with Jesus, we can excel. I sing this song. With Jesus in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. 
with Jesus in the family. Happy, happy, oh, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, with Jesus in the family. Happy, happy, oh, happy, happy, oh, happy, happy, oh, with Jesus in the family. Happy, happy, oh. Happy, happy home. With Jesus, we can excel. With Jesus, in our family, we can excel. With Jesus, in our businesses, we can excel. With Jesus, in our offices, we can excel. With Jesus, wherever we find ourselves, we can excel. Jesus is the auto and finisher of our faith. There's nothing Jesus cannot do if we can lean on him, if we can give ourselves to him, if we can allow him to be our driver. When Jesus is our driver, we can excel. We can go, to the, the sky will be our starting point. With Jesus in the family, we can move ahead. With Jesus in the family, we can Go to anywhere we want to go because he will be our leader. As the reading has just, we have just read, it is telling us that the disciple, this daily fountain is telling us the disciple labor all night without catching fish. Although they were experienced fishermen, yes, Jesus made them when they were catching fish. They, were, they have every experience, nothing they lack, but something happened because they were from Galilee. They were familiar with the fishing environment. They were familiar with the fishing environment. Why were they not successful that night? Why? Why were they not successful? They had not, they had the boat, net, skills were at the right time and place, could it be that they departed from their assignment of fishing of souls? They left their net in Matthew 4, 19 to 20, and were not expected to return to their trade when Jesus called them. Beloved, many may prosper in various vocations, but when we as believers labor in the same outside God's will, for us, we may have an experience of gaining little or nothing from our efforts like the disciples. Jesus showed the disciples where to cast their nets. In any project we do, there will always be the right side. There will always be the right side. As we depend on God, he will show us the right way, right side, and what to do to prosper without a torn net. He will create fruitfulness from a proven unfruitful venture, for his power is greater than our skills and experience. Yes, surely, obedient to his word is the pathway to superabundant prosperity with his protection. In this way, we can excel without stressing ourselves or destroying our equipment. You are not of the world. Though we are in the world, we are not of the world. Hold on to Jesus and his word. Remain in your area of calling and you will excel. Amen. Looking at where we have just read, Jesus made the disciple in a show, fishing. Remember, he called them first when they were fishermen in Luke. When we look at Luke 
chapter 5, verse 1 to 14. It tells us how Jesus met Peter. And when he asked them, have you not caught anything? They said, no, we have labored throughout the night and nothing has come to us. But he told them how to cast their net to the other side. Peter tried to argue with him, but he said, according to your word, by your word, I will do it. And when he did that, they caught a lot of fish, which they need to invite other people to come and help them. This is the same place. When they came, because Peter called the rest of the disciples, seven of them, and said, I am going fishing. They said they will go with him. But they have forgotten that they are no longer fishermen. They are fishers of souls. They are fishers of souls. They need to go for fishing souls and not fish again. But they, they went there. Throughout the night, they couldn't get it. Nothing come their way. They labored in vain. They labored in vain. Brethren, they had the experience. They have the skills. They were in the right time, at the right time, at the right place. But because they left the assignment, which they were called for, they couldn't succeed. Behold, Jesus appeared to them again, stood by them. When the disciple whom Jesus loved so much, others couldn't know him. Others couldn't recognize him. But John recognized him and told Peter, it is the Lord. The Peter, when I reached this place, it struck my heart. Peter discovered that he was empty, completely empty. And now, he has already pulled his garment. He now put it back and jumped into the water. Brethren, there are a lot of times when we find ourselves empty because we have run from the assignment of God. But with Jesus, with Jesus, we can excel. With Jesus, we can move ahead. With Jesus, we can go to any level because he will be our director. He will be our guide. He will be our leader. Jesus is all in all. He is sufficient and complete. So hold on to Jesus. Lean on Jesus. Lean on Jesus and you will see what the Lord will do for you. Beloved, we may have the experience, but we will not succeed. We may have the, we will use our effort, but we will not succeed when we leave God aside. When we look at Jesus himself, when he was troubled, he was in anguish, he went back to the Father and asked Father, Father, is it that this cup will not pass over me? He said, Lord, not my will. Let thy will be done. You see, Jesus went back to regain the power, to regain the wisdom, to regain the skill, to regain and conquer the assignment who was here for. Brethren, let's always go to Jesus. No matter what, let's go to Jesus. We all hold on to Jesus. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Look what happened. Jesus showed the disciple the right place where to cast their net. He has the right thing. He has the right place. He has the right time. He has the right sight. When we hold on to him, nothing will cancel us. Nothing will disturb us. Nothing will kill us because he is our shield. He is our shield. He is our shield. Let's hold on to Jesus. With your project that you have, have you asked Jesus for his will? Have you asked Jesus to lead you? Have you asked Jesus to direct you? In your academic, whom do you put first? When you enter that school, whom do you put first? Jesus is number one. When you submit everything to him, 
when you direct everything to him, when you take, allow him to sit on the driver's side of your heart, you will excel. In your project, you will excel. In your academic, you will excel. In your businesses, you will excel. In your office, you will excel because he is the leader. He is the leader. Brethren, obedience is another thing which we need to know. We must be obedient to the word of the Lord. We must be obedient to the word of the Lord. Like that centurion, we, asked, we told Jesus, you need not to come to my house because I'm under the, the authority. I have people under me. When I say go, they go, do this, they do that. But just say your word. Hallelujah. Just say your word. Look at this man, believed in the word of the Lord. He believed that the word can heal his servants. He believed. And because he believed, everything came to pass. Brethren, I ask you, I urge you this day, that believe in the Lord. Hold on to the Lord. Trust him, and you will see what he will do unto you. He will not leave you. He will not abandon you. He will not leave you alone. Because when you give your life to him, when you walk with him, when you dine with him, when you give him all you have, he will lead you aright. We need to cast away our past and focus on Jesus. We should be focused on the right person, who is Jesus Christ. He is there for you. He has come for you. He has died for you. He is risen for you. He is alive for you. Hold on to him. And you see what the Lord will do for you. Brethren, I charge you this day that don't allow the wings of the world to take over your life. Never allow the wings of the world. No matter what, we are in the world, as it has told us. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. We are for Jesus. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves all of us. Obedience is the key of everything. Let us obey the word of the Lord. And it will see, it will help us, it will be our pathway to every success we need in life. It will be your pathway in everything you need in life. Hold on to Jesus. Jesus is here for you. Look at this place where they said, Peter, how they, it was the Lord. He wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken his cloth off and jumped into the water. What is an outer garment? What type of outer garment do you have? Is he holding you captive? Is he holding you captive? In your office, what is holding you captive? Throw it away. Throw it away. And move with Jesus Christ. Move with the Lord. Move with him. He's ready to lead you. If you want to go to heaven, Jesus is the way. He has told us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one go to the Father except through me. Are you ready to go with him? Are you ready to believe in him? Are you ready to hold on to him? Are you ready to give your life completely to him? Are you ready to make him a driver of your life? Jesus will do it perfectly if we submit ourselves to, to him. He's ready to bless you this day. He's ready to bless you every time. He will bless you in the morning. He's bless you in the afternoon. He will bless you in the evening if you give your life to him. I charge you to give your life to Jesus and he will never fail you. May the Lord help us. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord keep us. May the Lord direct our ways to be faithful in our duties wherever we find ourselves. 
May the Lord help us to surrender everything to him because he is our leader. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for all you have taught us this morning. Thank you for your word that has come with power. Lord, we pray you, the Holy Spirit, which is a great teacher, to interpret it directly into our hearts and help us to hold on to you and to lean on you and to walk with you to the glory of your name. Thank you for answering us. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.